Hi everyone, welcome to another weekly video of Ross Q&A here at The Construct. My name is Rodrigo and I'm going to be answering this question I found on Ross Answers, in which this person is trying to publish data to a topic without sleep and without interrupting other messages. And he explains that he wants to publish data on a topic at 1 hertz while his script and all other messages are being published at 30 hertz. So he wants to be able, able to publish both without stepping on one another. Um, so I'm going to be answering this with a Python script that will be addressing this. The first thing to know is that you can't really use, in this case, the raspberry, raspberry rate or sleep because this will essentially turn off your script at a certain frequency so if you have two right here you're gonna you're not gonna be able to uh, do it that way so we're gonna use it using raspberry spin so to do this we're gonna go to the construct sim.com And we're going to create a ROS checked. And if you log in, if you don't have an account, you can create one really quick and log in. And you can go to this button called My ROS Checks, and we're going to create one. So over this, we're going to click on this red button and create a ROS checked. We're going to select uh, Noetic for our ROS distribution. And for our name, we can call it whatever we want. We're, here we'll call it Asynchronous Publisher because we're going to be publishing at different frequencies. And for the description, I'll just add the link for the question. And we can just hit Create. And you can see that it was made over here. So we can run it. And while it's loading, let me show you our platform back at the construct sim.com, which is a great platform uh, to learn robotics from scratch. And it also doesn't matter if you're an experienced programmer, you can also come in here and, and, and learn a lot. It, we have over 50 robotics courses ranging from basics of C++ and Python all the way to autonomous navigation, machine learning, etc., etc. So I really recommend you come to the construct and create a, an account and start learning. So going back to our ROS check, we can see that it's been made. So we're gonna create, we're gonna open our code editor over here and our shell over here. Just oh, make it bigger because I like to work in a big workspace. And the first thing we're going to do is create uh, the package in which the file, the Python node, is going to be located. So to do that, we're going to enter our Catkin workspace inside our SRC folder. And we're going to create our package. And the command for that is uh, catkin underscore create package you can hit tab and it auto completes it and we're going to name it uh, let's say async publish and there you go we created it and you can see that over here in our code editor it appeared so our package is ready so we're going to enter it and create another, for good practice, we're gonna create another folder with make dear, and we're gonna call it SRC as well. Now we can actually create our file. So now that we're in the same location, I'm gonna do this through the code editor. So we're gonna click on the SRC folder under our package that we created and create a new file. 
and I'm just gonna call it the same async publish and it's a Python script so dot pi so there you go uh, before I forget we should make this executable so to do this let's go to our, our shell and we're gonna type in the command chmod plus x and then the name of the file that way our file is now executable so I'm gonna make the file that publishes two topics at two different rates in here so the first thing to do is to use Python you have to type in this command and we're gonna import raspi and also I'm gonna use uh, strings for my topics uh, in order to show this example so we're gonna do from standard messages dot message import string so there you go so to start um, make this really simple and quick I'm gonna just define our variables so we're gonna want one rate so rate one and rate two uh, rate one is gonna be 30 Hertz and rate two is gonna be one and just for the publication of for the when we publish I'm just gonna create the messages here uh, just it's gonna be a string like I said so we'll just do 30 Hertz as the string and for the second one just one Hertz there we go so the way we're gonna do this is by using the timer raspi timer function which allows you to do exactly what this person is asking and the way it does it is you specify um, a period for the timer and a callback function that is going to be called every time the period is specified every time every time the frequency is of the period so we're going to create our callback functions first so um, we're gonna call it callback one and inside we can just say event and in here is where we're gonna do our publishing so later I'm gonna initialize the node and create our publishers but from here I'm, I'm just gonna say that the first I'm gonna call it pub1 and it's gonna be a, a raspi publisher so it's gonna have the option to publish and inside we're gonna be saying that it's gonna be our message one and that's it I mean we just create our second callback function and it's gonna be the same but I'm gonna call it pub two dot publish message two <clears throat> so now we can go to our main so if name equals main here I'm just gonna first initialize our node with raspi dot init node um, we're gonna call it the same way async publish that's it that's all you need for this um, and we're gonna create our publishers that we're calling we're 
using in our callbacks. So the first one is pub1 equals raspi dot raspi dot publisher. We specify what the topic is going to be called. So I mean, topic one is fine. Um, the type string and the queue size. We're going to set it equal to ten. We're going to do the same with our second publisher. So pub two. Oh, sorry. Topic two. And now, which is the interesting part, we're going to use the timer that I was telling you about, the timer function from Raspi. So this is raspi.timer, there you can see it. And like I said, we have to specify a period and the callback uh, which is being used. Um, so for the period, like I said, I created this um, these rates. So we're just going to specify that by using duration. So for our period, we're going to say that it's going to be raspi.duration. And for the hertz, it's got to be one over the rate. So in order to be hertz. So we're going to do one over rate one. So that is our first rate, which is going to be 30 hertz, and then the callback that is being used. So it's, this is callback one. So we can select it from the drop down. It's really nice. Um, and we'll do the same for our second publisher. So all we got to do is change the rate and the callback being used. And then the last line, just to keep the note spinning, is what I said, raspi spin. And this prevents you from using raspi rate and things that are going to um, prevent you from doing this kind of things where uh, you're publishing things at different rates. So I think this is it, let's try it out. Um, we're going to save, it saves automatically, so it's really nice, but I'm still going to do command S every time. Um, so first thing we're going to do is just, we're just going to compile. Uh, so we're going to go to our catkin workspace and do catkin make. There we go. And we're going to source our environment, source devil slash setup bash and type in rospack profile to obtain all of our packages ready to go and let's see let's see if it worked um, we're gonna do ros run ros run our package is async publish and our file is the same name dot pi so we're gonna, oh, we forgot to run a Rust core, which is important if you're doing Rust run, because otherwise it won't work. So we run our Rust core and we can open up a new shell over here on this plus. And now we can do our Rust run command. There we go. So let's see if it's working. So in another shell. Let's see if we get our topics. Here you go, topic one and topic two. And if you want to see what is is inside of these topics, you can just do Ross topic echo and the name of the topic. And here, you'll see that this is supposed to be publishing at 30 hertz. And the second topic is supposed to be publishing at one hertz and you can see how this is going slower and just to make sure there's another useful command called ross topic hertz and the name of the topic 
and this will tell you at what rate it's being published. So you can see here that it's being published at 30 rates. I'm sorry, at 30 hertz. So this is good for our first topic. And then for the second topic, you can see that it's being published at 1 hertz. So there you have it. That's how you publish two topics at different rates using a, the same node. Um, hopefully this was useful and I hope I answered the question and I'll see you guys tomorrow next week. I'm sorry, next next week because next week is um, Christmas week uh, for our next video of Ross Q&A. Thank you, my name is Rodrigo and um, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.